the MVXCU. Here's the box from the outside, quite slim. Some quick information on the outside, and of course the picture of the unit. Opening the lid, you will find the user manual. Here we will find the user manual first. And of course you're gonna see your warranty card and your USB cable, USB-C. And finally the XCU covered in the bag. Here we unwrap it. Here it goes. Very similar form factor to the MV88 Plus. Let's remove these on the side a little bit. And we can focus on the MVXTU right now. Form factor, two plugs on the back, and of course the XLR on the top. Compared to the SM58, we can see it's quite small, unlike the former X2 that was longer and heavier. The unit plugs direct into your microphone or any handheld microphone, does not introduce any counterweight. We can get our USB-C right now and plug it directly into the MVX to you. That then can connect to your PC or Mac. I have a Mac computer next to me right now. So I'll plug it into the USB-C port and that will power it up directly. Out of the box, it comes in auto mode and phantom power engaged. So you can see phantom power is already on. I can toggle it on and off using the application. And then the phantom power indicator in the bottom will change its status according to the software. Right below the XLR, there's an indicator. Usually it's in green and that will change its color to amber red when it's mute. So as you mute or unmute, it goes between green and amber. You may also use the MVXTU just like you use an inline preamplifier by just plugging it into your XLR cable. We may also use the unit externally and use it with our favorite microphone like the SM7B. Especially that the MVX2 has 60 decibels of gain on board. Plus, we can actually connect it directly to our SM7B as well. This eliminates clutter on the table, makes our connection nice and neat. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon.